Hello, welcome to Tales from Around the World. Today's tale comes to you from the Caribbean. My name is Ali Ogana Pearl, and I will be telling you the story of Brer Anansi and the Magic Pot. Before we start the story, I must share with you a little poem that tells you who Anansi is. It's very simple. Anansi is a spider. Anansi is a man. Anansi is West Indian. Anansi is African. One more time. Anansi is a spider. Anansi is a man. Anansi is West Indian. Anansi is African. Now the story. Once there was a great famine in the land and people could hardly find food to eat. Like other animals in the jungle, Brer Anansi and his family could not find much food either. One day, Brer Anansi was walking in the forest and his foot kicked over a pot lying on the ground. What a pretty little pot, said Anansi. Don't call me pretty pot, the pot replied. So, what must I call you, Bra Anansi said. Call me, do, make me see, said the pot. This name seemed foolish to Bra Anansi. But having nothing better to do, he yelled, Do! Make me see! Immediately, the pot began to cook a delicious dinner of jerk chicken and rice and peas. The aroma of the meal had Bra and Nancy delighted. He ate and ate and ate some more until his stomach was full. But as he was about to wash the pot in a nearby river, the pot shouted, No, no, no! You must never wash me. Leave me the way you found me. So, Bra Anansi did not wash the pot. He turned the pot down, covered it under some bushes, and went on his merry way. When he got home, his wife and children eagerly asked if he had brought home any food. He gave them two meager bananas he had found in the bushes and made no mention of his newfound secret. The next day, Bra and Nancy returned to the area where he had found the magic pot. To his great delight, it was still there. So quickly, he said, Do make me see. And the pot cooked another delicious dinner. Yam and salt fish, mackerel and green bananas. Burr and Nancy had such a feast. Every day, Bra and Nancy ate his stomach full. 
but he never shared the secret with his family. Mistress Anansi soon began to notice that her husband was getting rather fat. He looked well fed in the midst of the famine. She couldn't understand why. However, Bruh Anansi wasn't even eating any of the meager food he brought home for the family. So, one day, Mistress Anansi decided to follow him when he left home. She followed Bruh Anansi into the jungle. And when he got to the location where the magic pot was hidden, she heard his secret words. Do make me see. The pot cooked another delicious meal. Mistress Anansi was amazed to see the feast. Brr Anansi sat down and ate it all. He then licked his lips, turned the pot over, put it back in its secret location and scampered away well fed. As soon as Brr Anansi left, Mistress Anansi wasted no time. She ran home, fetched her starving children, ran back, turned over the pot and said, Do make me see, just as she had heard Bra Anansi say. The children were overjoyed. The food overflowed from the pot. Aki and saltfish. Dumplings, yams, dasheen, and fried chicken. All food they had not seen in a long, long time. They all ate and ate and ate until nothing was left. Mistress Anansi being a tidy housewife, took the pot to the nearby river. Even though the pot told her not to wash it, Mistress Anansi refused the pot's orders and gave the pot a good wash before putting it back where Bra Anansi had left it. The next day, Bra Anansi arrived. He turned over the magic pot and said the magic words, Do make me see. But nothing happened. Do make me see. Bra Anansi shouted over and over and over again but the pot remained quiet. Nothing happened. He examined the pot and discovered that it was quite clean. Hmm. Bra Anansi quickly realized that someone had found his secret, had washed the pot, and so washed away his luck. He was so upset, he ranted and raved through the jungle, and as he walked along, he kicked everything in his way. Then he stumbled on a whip. What a pretty little whip, yelled Bra Anansi. Don't call me pretty, the whip said. So, what must I call you? asked Bra Anansi. 
call me. Do make me see, replied the whip. Bruh and Nancy, hoping for more good fortune, cried out, Do make me see. Immediately, the whip set upon Bruh and Nancy and chased him into the forest. Bruh and Nancy was raging and upset. But he thought, here is a way to play a trick on the person who washed his magic pot. Bruh and Nancy suspected it might have been his wife, Mistress Anansi. So, when he got home, he announced that he had found a present in the forest, but he had to cover it up because somebody might want to take it away from him. Mistress Anansi, being just as greedy, secretly followed Bruh Anansi into the bushes. Once more, they went to the area where he had covered the whip. Bruh Anansi did nothing. He sat and looked at the whip. And then he went on his way. Mistress Anansi came out of hiding and yelled, What a pretty little whip! The whip replied, Don't call me pretty. Eager to see what good fortune was in store, Mistress Anansi asked, What must I call you? The whip replied, Do make me see. Mistress Anansi happily replied, Do make me see. And the whip set upon her and chased her into the forest. <laughs> Bruh and Nancy was nearby and he laughed and laughed and laughed some more. He was very happy to see that his trick had worked. And so he danced happily home, knowing that he had caught the person who had stole the magic from his magic pot. And that's the end of today's story. But before we go, remember the poem? Anansi is a spider. Anansi is a man. Anansi is West Indian. Anansi is African. <laughs> <laughs>